Oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian today, along with... Here's the Mike Lieutenant Rakir at your service, <laughs> along with... Uh, I see what happened here. <laughs> and suddenly they've gone quiet. Yeah, Glazer Boy is here in voice chat as well, but they are on push to talk, so we might just hear it, not hear them at times. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you need to switch back to the pre scene for a second. Are you giving Glazer Boy <laughs> their own icon? No, not that. But I do need to. I will need to put in some extra sources because, uh, yeah, using the <coughs> using the Valheim one is going to well, it's going to need two different sizes: one full, nearly full screen, for <coughs> one nearly full screen for the pre scene. But also a smaller one for the the base scene. So there, now that should fit. Ah, oh. all right. <laughs> and hello there in chat, Rayman sixty four DS. How are you doing today, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Valheim with uh, Drakir joining me in game, as well as another friend, Glacier Boy. <laughs> oh, hello see. everyone. <laughs> yeah, Rayman, I'm fine. You doing pretty well, I'd say. So, yeah, we'll be playing some Valheim for the two coming two hours or so. We'll probably be mostly exploring since, well, we've beaten the last boss that we found, the Dragon Motor. So, yeah, we just finished doing a round of, or rather finishing a round of this island, finding it's a bit disappointingly small <laughs> compared to what we were expecting. So, yeah, we're just heading back. We'll grab the, our boats, grab some supplies for portals and such, and yeah, start exploring the open seas. Well, not so much the open seas, but still. <laughs> I still get a bit unnerved by just the open ocean and the chance, even if it's just a tiny chance, still just the chance of possibly losing our gear due to glitches or sudden serpents and such. Yeah, look, look, I haven't heard of many having glitches with the boat out on the sea and Most of course of just as we're talking about that it turns to a storm which is the best chance for serpents to spawn yeah no we can't kill a serpent lucky enough we just uh, you, we just need the harpoon to well take a use of it just harpoon it drag it ashore kill it grab the meat the scales everything else from it <laughs> Yeah, we know Is where one Leviathan what? should be, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, it uh, should be just north of our main island here. Actually, if we had the boat here, we could just roll over to it. Uh, let's see, Rayman. Uh, that's good, just finished the dishwasher. I used another you know, person's one and then squashed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't use really, really, did you, Do you mean you use someone else's dishwasher? I'm pretty. I'm not sure if you can squash a dishwasher. Well, you can, but you need a machine to do that. <laughs> oh, you need to be the Hulk. <laughs> okay, that that must be a boar stone for all of these to be spawning here. Oh yeah, give me it's that. We've been able to walk away from the modern portal, but we're all getting closer to another one. Yeah, there should be one around here. And if not, we'll have to walk up. We'll have to climb the Found mountain it. to motor. Found it! It would probably <laughs> better be vent here since... Let's be honest, it, it is a pain to jump to that mountain. Yeah. Which is why I did make, yeah, make that staircase, but we'd have to find the staircase as well. Yeah. Okay. Are uh, you good, Glacier Boy? You stopped moving from what I can see. Now oh, oh, the map is just taking move. The map is just taking some moments to update. Okay. 
Now, if I recall correctly, the boat should be north of the base as well. So we just need to grab materials for a portal or just decommission any of these old ones. And yeah, then we can go hunt the Leviathan and move on. I'm sure not so much really hunt the Leviathan, hunt but... Them. You just annoy them by removing uh, things from their back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Onions, fish. Uh, let's see, which was the blood box? There's the mm. blood box. You should have a Okay, that should box. be all the food, yes. Okay, time for the typical dumping. To find wood, we need that for portals. Uh, boar, leather. What the heck? Pull, so that's getting to the backup storage. Oh, yeah, someone been... Mm. Oh, yeah, we... Then again... We, we did talk about organizing here, but we did end up uh, ending the stream far away from the base. True. And, oh, something's done here. Oh, the resistant rules are done. Put some of those there. Uh, let's see. Put them in a box. Thistles. So much. I'll just... Actually, those count more as a extra thing. There, okay. Uh, let's see, circling cores and great dwarf eyes. I've got eyes. Do we have cores? Yes, we have cores. Okay. Yeah. Do. Hmm. You do it. Should we move the boat over to the other place to take down the uh, old explore portal? Uh, we could. It's it is just a short distance from where the Leviathan is. It is. Yep. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, you're right. Mountain. So we end up. The, we don't need to go there anyway. So all right. So yeah, no need to put up an extra portal around here. We've got plenty of those already. We probably just should build a dedicated portal room at some point or another. Yeah, which will be the tower. Very foggy here at the moment. <coughs> okay, I'm going to grab some basic foods, not for combat, but more just surviving. Uh, there. That should probably be more than enough. And yeah, I'm heading up to the boat. I've got the supplies. It should close that. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Actually, I should try... I should probably make a path to where the boat is. Make, since it has become our typical harbor. Oh, one, one of us should also at least bring some wood, so we can make a... Uh, <clears throat> Okay. A workbench as well, though we can just Already cut down any that. tree nearby. I already have some wood on me. I got five stone and 34 wood. Okay. Even got some extra uh, great dwarf eyes, just in case we need them. <laughs> yeah, I've got 50, uh, yeah, 50 fine wood and 50 eyes, which is good for two portals. But if we find some more along the way, we can make a third one. Not that it would be, need to be completely needed. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what food we have. Yeah, uh, between this stream and the next uh, Valheim stream, we definitely will start organizing. Like moving the dining table to the other side of the room and moving our beds to the other side of the uh, building. As the stairs does take up just the need space to have a practical bathtub. We are in need of 
of wolf skewers. Okay, yeah, we are. Here we go. I, I, yeah. I paved the path to the boats. There we go. There's some onion soup so, and such. Let's see. And we prepare some food. Since we're bloody gonna need it. Okay. Uh, how is this thing? It's a little bit damaged, but not much. Hmm. Since I'm here... Actually, I'll take this. So I can get fine wood out of this one. Uh, okay, I only now notice that apparently something is putting a big draw on VC face. We're causing slowdown in it. Okay, the heck might... Oh, I... Let me close that off. Seems I forgot to close some stuff on the sides. Um... That should be good. Hmm. Okay, that's better at least. Okay. And while I wait, I may as well do a little thing. Need some more mushrooms. Uh, I don't. Know, I think we can use the cauldron at the same time. You say that like I have any ingredients on. Well, there's a. We have a, quite a kitchen around here. Here's my contribution to the dish. Uh, you can help out with doing some onion soup. Oh. We, we cannot cook resin. Not with that attitude. Okay, oh, being dear. able to change where these things snap with building is just such a freaking upgrade. It's a little bit high, but that should do for getting inside boats easier. Go to spam out some onion soups. Yep. There we go. I have now okay. made... There we have, uh, have on me about... Uh, 38... Yeah, 38... Uh, wolf skewer. Yeah, pick up that there. We split them up to stacks of ten and leave eight at home. Since that probably be a good idea. There we go, that's better. Sausages, we are very good answers. We do have basically one box. Yeah, we have one box with only sausages in it. The heck is... Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought I saw something evil in the distance, but no, that's the spawn portal. Yeah, uh, reminds me, I'm gonna check on the forum to see how the ball is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> Golly, I just got plunged into absolute darkness for a bit there between the fog and nightfall. And then this game just all of a sudden looks a lot more like a horror uh, game. I turn around, then look back again, and the ball is only finished growing. I've done that. Oh, oh okay. What's it mean? It, that, that does tend to happen. It, I think it only really updates to the last stage when someone is nearby. Perfectly cut down the middle. Okay. Wait, are you, are you sailing already? Nope. Alright. I'm just dealing with great wharves. He wouldn't leave us behind. Well, he did sail over to the place we used to be able to reach him by the portal. Unless I broke it already. 
Yeah, except that, yeah, but... No, you could still rebuild it. Right, Drakir, come get your soup. I'm uh, coming, just gonna... Finish up on this area. See, how much barley yeah. are we getting from this harvest? Enough for me to not be able to pick up the rest. Back with this. Okay. 416 barley. More than plenty. Yeah, and I'm gonna replant what all about 100 of them uh, let's see Alright, apparently that the dogs are barking. Too exposed. Uh, let's see, there was a little bit of a trick of Okay, so I do need to fill in the back. Is that enough? Yep, it is. Okay. Just made a little improvised harbor. Nice. There. Okay, that has another line, but it doesn't last anyways. And, uh, how broke before I was able to uh, plant down the few last one, but uh, it should be good enough. Yeah, well. The most important part is we did replant them, and we have uh, so that we get the double the amount. So instead of just two barley and we're going to replant half, we replant one fourth. So we get four instead now. Okay. Uh, let's see, gonna repair this. Let's see, what up. is too dark for me to really see if I can. There you go, and uh, with the soup. Yep, come get the soup. There we go. Uh, thank Probably you. not the thank best you. there, but I will. Alright, okay, I have uh, now ten there, there, and there, so. Okay, yeah, I have more soup than I need, but yeah, we should definitely share with Helium. I might have stolen some chicken. Uh, that's fine. We did cook them to see how good they are, and just green chicken like is quite good early on. Definitely. Well, I'm pretty sure it's one of the better foods that we can get at the moment, anyways. Yeah. No, we, we can get locks and all that, just be... We need a little bit more supply of a few things uh, before we can start eating it. And well, as I said, that uh, here's a few flower uh, things. See about making some flint hmm. uh, Actually, it seems me. <clears throat> okay, I, I recently found out that you can put torches outside of uh, workbench range. So I think I'm just... Uh, oh, now, like now it does complain about there not being one in the area? Okay. Well, you, as soon as you stand in the area yourself, you can. Yeah, okay. 
bit of an annoyance. But yeah, if that wasn't the case, then I would be putting down torches all along our paths at the moment. Though maybe I'll just do that off screen. Just put down a workbench. <clears throat> Then tear, it, uh, then put some torches, then tear it away, or break the bench. And okay, something broke the small, the smaller boats. Because that was parked on the other side here. So let me just take a quick look. Probably the damn necks. Oh boar! Like we, one time we actually keep hearing noise. We look around. We go, what the heck is that? Then suddenly I look around at one point, and here the damn rock is again. And finally see what the heck is getting intact, and it was our lone boat get, uh, as it just got destroyed in front of me from about 20 meters in game by a damn boar. And there was a skeleton roaming around here, so it might have been them. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous. You have okay. more flower. So we are getting very Good on to soon be able to be do some food that's better than uh, chicken legs. Get rid of those stupid berries. Now we get to put the flower in here for now. Okay. <coughs> Anyways, once you once you two head on over, this little harbor should be easy to spot. So I've lit it up. Actually, I might as well now just go put on a bunch of torches along the way. Do I have enough? Yep. And break that. Here we go. All right, everyone got rested buff. Uh, I have a minor one, but once we once we get to an island, it'll be easy enough to put down a portal. Yeah, I, I got uh, my one on my uh, up and ready, just in case. Okay. All right, are you ready, Glacier Boy? Lovely. Okay, something has been in here and destroyed one torch and one workbench. Then again, we do have extra walls inside to keep so they don't get to the more important stuff like the chickens, the farm. Yeah. Like, have, have this made train to be a little bit better? I would be have an extra wall in front, but for now it kind of works well to funnel the enemies to the same area in front. This kind of makes them easier to, easier to fight when they raid. Instead of you all like one in the west, one in the east, being everywhere unable to support each other. Yeah. At least now, everyone will come in front where we f all three are. Like, sometimes Divide and Conquer works in this game, but there are times where that tactic will just wreck you. There. Okay, I'm putting up some of the torches. Wait. Yeah, he, he, you're not wrong. Yeah, we definitely gonna need to renovate this place next time. Okay, there was that little trick I suggested off stream, where it's just to shrink the, uh, <clears throat> to shrink the chimney a little bit so that it can be, so that the, the bathtub can be put closer. Yeah, do. We did realize the best thing we use can just need to do is just move the beds and the dining table to the other side of the house. 
Yeah, it's also it's going always, to work, yeah? Yeah, it says that that is surprisingly more easier to do. Alright, let's head to the boss. Or, well, our boss, that is the captain. <laughs> One there, one there. I'm sort of alternating them a bit with the torches, so there's one on each side about every distance. Or on alternating sides about each distance. Oh dear. There. And there, and well, we have more than plenty of resin. We probably have more resin than we could probably use up. Yeah. It is, in a way, it's just good, for that means we always have, we'll have fuel for the torches. Yep. We might need a, a new stone box. I am not surprised. Okay, are you two coming, or do I need to come drag you out? We just, it, it, we just came out of the gates. So we are ready. So you can... Uh, there. You, you should probably grab some uh, rest of the buff. Okay. Just follow the torches and you'll get to... <clears throat> and you'll get to the boat. Alright. Let we give you your food there then. Mm. Well, he said follow the torches, so... Over here, then. Yeah, the boat is just north of the spawn point, so... Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, can't sleep at this point. Oh. Uh, yeah. Comfort. So just wait for the rest of the bonus to take in. There we go. 24 minutes of rest bonus. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, and the boars, the boars are hating what Hillian has done. No. Oh yeah, they are afraid of fire. So they are in <laughs> panic mode running all over the place. Alright, this is a nice dock. Even though that something looks like it's defying gravity. Okay. <clears throat> uh, did either of you? Yeah, did either of you grab the motor buff as well, so we can swap between those? Oh, good, you said that. Good, you said that. Which one should grab it, uh, English boy? You or me? I don't mind. Alright, let you do that for... I'm feeling Iktir buff may come in usefulness uh, for exploration since well, it helps us run. Let's see, put all of that in there. And you technically only want to use the mod buff whenever the wind uh, is being a jerk. Yeah. Yep, For now, the, the wind is actually good. Yep, but it can change at any moment. Indeed. Now, swapping out of that. Uh, actually, uh, Hillian can come up on, uh, on land again. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna need, uh, I want to give you your food, and I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't. Throw it overboard. <laughs> worse, I don't want it to just fall through the boat. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I. Let's see. English boy, do you need uh, more wolf skewers? I'm fine at the moment. All right, then I'm. All right, then I will carry plenty of extra food just in case anyone needs it. Okay. <coughs> So if anyone is low on health or stamina food, let me know. 
Okay, I think the wind just turned a little bit, but not to the point where it's detrimental to us. Hmm. Have they ever said anything about uh, a customizable sails or something at some point or another? Uh, customizable sh boats that you put on shields? Yep. I forgot of why they removed it before uh, release. But I guess it was some. They had some issues. But people are speculating we might get new ships or something. Okay. Oh, they have it. But what do you throw out, uh, Glacier Boy? Nothing. I saw you throw out something that landed in the water. Just some bones. Mm, there were some skeletons yeah. there before. The thing is. With the new next biome, they're gonna do it so it is the Ashland is not connected to any other biome. So if you want to go to Ashland, you need to land on the Ashland. Okay, you might and need a, be in... a resistant boat for that or something. Yeah, but you're probably gonna want that for there will be comets and a new serpent thing. So it feels like you should probably have a new boat. So there might be also be a new device that maybe blocks out the firestorms from bringing down on your base. Okay. And of course it starts to storm when we... <laughs> yep, that, that was short. Okay, a very Are localized little storm. Well, you're in the meadows now, so no storm, luckily enough. <laughs> Okay, we'll just go around the bend of the islands to where we found that Leviathan. It should still be there. Um, wait, why the heck am I, why the heck am I at an angle now with this? Uh, that um, fish stranded yeah. itself. Two fish. One just got back in. Oh dear. Okay. Wait, two. I thought there was a. Going on top to lower was sails for a sec, so I can correct VC face. Uh, where's the mouse? There's the mouse. Ooh, these are trollfish. Okay, no way, no idea why it had me at an angle there. The fish mm -hmm. Okay, wind is still good. It, I think it adjusted a little bit again. Yeah, I just get upward now. Just because we got two mod buffers, the, the, <laughs> that uh, sounds like it could be taken very much out of context. <laughs> I just realized that I was said that. You know what I mean. <laughs> that they have been decided to be cooperative for once. Maybe. Okay. And yeah, we, uh, we probably uh, should stick with exploring the circle and the how it is. Yeah, we should probably stick with exploring around an island with the boats because I'm pretty sure even at slow speed with these things, we're going faster than uh, when we're walking. Not when we're sprinting, but sprinting takes stamina and such, and we'll run out of uh, that eventually. No pros and cons. Probably is when you uh, kind of need to. When you struggle to find a good landing spot, mm. and yeah, you you remember what happened the other map when we landed? Is the spiritual landing in the plains and just all hell broke loose? True, but now that we have the motor buff, it should be easier to get away from situations like that. Yeah, and in case Glacier Boy wonder now what happened, Luxus broke our boat. Yeah, while well, we're running away from a storm. Right. And there's yeah. Leviathan. And Helium died, so I was stranded there alone for quite a while. I had to salvage to make my own portal home. We hit the mother load. Okay, careful now. And I can see the eyeballs under there. <laughs> Perfect time for rain, of course. What the heck? Okay, I believe it is a random chance on when it'll uh, 
Oh, you, you be here. Give me a sec of it. You be here. A warning. Yeah, there First it warning. Goes. You would think it would be more grateful because I'm pretty sure barnacles are parasites for sea creatures. Getting pushed around by the waves a bit. Second um, warning. Oh yeah, those are its eyes down there. There we go. Okay, time to get aboard. Not under the boat, but aboard. I'm glad we are so close to land, so in case we did miss the boat, we can still swim ashore. Okay, I, I honestly expected that it would go underwater a lot faster than that. It can... It can be a bad uh, short time, uh, depending on where you are on the damn thing. Okay, now we head north to go break... collect... Yeah, to go break the explorer portal. So we can set it up somewhere else. I see. Holy! Hmm. I got fi I got a full fifty the stack of the uh, thingies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how much? How much did you get, Glacier Boy? Forty-six. <laughs> well, more than enough than we need. That probably. Yeah, and you can't upgrade our prunes either, so. Hopefully, we have enough to make spares. Maximum harpoons. Uh, I should say this though, you can repair the harpoons, you can, just cannot upgrade them. Yeah. Okay, we'll be going against wind for a little bit here. But it's negligible Actually, distance. I have an idea. We should go use the portal to go back and craft the harpoons. Then we head back here, then break the portal. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's be honest, I think you, you will feel more relaxed if we have the harpoons with us. Yeah, then we can just drag the stupid serpents on the land. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen some people, it might have been the Defend the House guys, uh, experimenting with harpoons and just launching people, and you can launch people really freaking far. Yeah, something I will say we should not be doing, for I feel like th that's... That's the point where you could uh, do some big mistakes. Yeah. Also, there's an island in the middle here, between the ones we already know. It's not going to be big, but I think we can at least take a look. Yeah, it, it could be a good... Uh, tiny thing you could see to when we need to repair the boat or to drag a sea serpent. True, maybe we can put up a, a, yeah, a portal hub there, so the, our base isn't swamped with portals. But we do have a, a big tower we can use still. True, but it would probably be easier if we just concentrate them all in one place without them being all over. And it would probably be a bit easier on our computers if they, we aren't accidentally setting off the swirling effect every time we walk near. It isn't that bad, but uh, I have seen it being rather stressful with the computers, but then again, that's our people who very much made a separate tower only for the portals. A massive one with like 30 hmm. portals something next to the base. There's a grayling trying out our portal. <coughs> Oi! Leave the workbench alone. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Let me try something. Okay, I see this. We definitely can have some portals up here, for we have plenty of room. True. But next Just map we bit. do, we definitely should do something like that. Like, we, 
Oh, one of my other maps actually put my portal hub near the spawn circle. Yeah, I, I was thinking about distant. trying to build a compound around the spawn area. So we, we might as well turn it into a portal hub as well then. Yeah, let's see here. What do I need to make the fine wood and... All right, that's it. Should be easy to do. And we have new fine wood. Wonderful. Yeah, I have all the fine woods <laughs> on the boat. Yeah, I just realized it's getting dark, so let's... Let's all head back so we can sleep. Once I made the damn uh, thing. There. There. Okay. I probably should be using some hardwood supports for some of these small harbors since they can reach a lot further down, making it a lot easier to get support for them. Ooh, stutter. Uh, yeah, it's saved. It, I will say the autosave stutter have improved over uh, the years. Gradually getting be a bit better, a bit better. There we go. Mm. Hmm. Oh, you need 30 to make one? Should still well, have enough for three, then. Yeah, uh, Glacier Boy, can you throw me your uh, carpets? Or whatever the hell they call Chitin. <laughs> for the longest time, I've called it Chitin. I think it's actually a debate, but people are debating still if the, uh, which one is which. Uh, even to the fool, of course. There we go. Should probably repair my gear. And I not, did not have enough uh, wood to make a third. But we put away the materials over here for now. All right, who wants the second harpoon? I'll be driving. Yes, I'll be uh, steering most of the time, so probably best that you two have them. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this brood moon, I will actually leave my hammer at home now. <laughs> Afraid you'll lose it? Uh, it is getting a bit cramped in the bag. And only now do I realize that the armor stand next to my bed is facing the wrong way. Oh, well. it, is, it is easy to do that mistake. Anyone need arrows? Uh, I'm uh, good on arrows. I'll just I'll grab a stack from one of the boxes before we head out. I'm only I'm down to nine flint heads. Okay, just need to pass the night and then we can move on. Yep, now we wait for Glacier Boy. I picked out the wrong wood. Are you trying to make more arrows? There's a box with arrows. The upper left ones should be. Yeah, we actually have two arrow boxes. We have one in the tower and one in here. Mm. 
What are you doing? Not are you just are you just making more arrows? Because we should have plenty in the box. I'm just giving a full stack. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, another weird ass dream in the game. All right. Iron heads, flint heads, there. Half a stack is about what I probably need. Okay, some food. I should probably leave my... <clears throat> my working clothes behind for the moment. Okay, yeah, okay, I can see here. You still be, you should still use this as a portal tower. However, probably good to spread out the portals a little bit. Probably, yeah. Like uh, two portals for each wall or something. You probably well, put up signs to say which are where, which go where, and such. Indeed, but. Is, is it, we can have a boss portal that we have the address next to it. But some portals we should have a, an obvious connection to, like uh, to the farm and a portal. But uh, things like the bosses... Yeah, just uh, put a address next to them. Yeah. Okay... Let's get that log back over here. We should probably mark this place out on the map so we know there's a uh, harbor here. Yep. Have we ping it for you so you can mark it? Let's see. I think the house will probably be better for that. Yeah, that's when you just the uh, yeah you say house mark for where I'm standing. Yeah. So we can see on the map uh, where it is. Now we're waiting for a glacier boy, but I don't want to accidentally break it before they have passed through. <laughs> yep. Yep, excellent portal. Oh, there actually, there's several smaller islands out there. <coughs> I, I saw at least one of those. Yeah, I there's, uh, there's three, I can see. Uh, do you cut down an oak? Yep. There we go. Plenty of wood for little harbors. And I found acorns up here. <laughs> this is good. That means we can grow more oak trees, and acorns are rare, people. Yep. There we go. And. Okay, everyone's here. I'll be break down the portal. There. Oh yeah. For people who want to put you can make it when you put you on, but but to be wise into your computer or just to well resource wise, have one portal dedicated to bosses, so you can just like you have the portal near the bosses. But the one at home, you just change the name to whenever you want to go to a boss. All the places can have the dedicated portal to like the portal takes you to the spawn point, like the starting circle. And maybe a one that goes to a farm. One or two farms that, that takes you to the mist land or something like that. And explore the portal. Otherwise, okay. otherwise portal that you may need if you need to move to a certain area for some reason. 
Uh, when we were to say that he accidentally cut you off. Yeah, let's now more. Which way shall we explore? First, probably best to just take, you know, take a look at the island next to us here. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. We never fully explored bone mass, but we we know that our islands by the bone mass. Yeah, there might be. It might be connected a little bit, a bit to the northwest of it there. Yeah, though the wind is against us. However, yeah, we have motor moment, power. Yeah, we can finally demonstrate it on on stream. I almost said on scream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't think we'll need it to get to the island this way. Since we can catch the wind there. Yeah, let's just take a, a look. Just a bit uh, to get out of the uh, harbor area. There we go. Now, if we do run into snakes, we have the ability to fight them, finally. Yeah, oh, we, we have been happy able to be killing them for a while now with good bows and arrows. Just, we will only gotten the meat, since yeah. the meat float. However, it is, will be easier to fight them now, since we now can drag them ashore and kill them for everything they got. And of course, now it turns foggy on the ocean part. Oh, I don't. Oh, I think I see Meadows. the island north of us, and there's another one straight ahead, a tiny one. Oh, wait, there's uh, there's some trees actually. Oh wait. Mm. Oh, there's a separate island. Okay, now I see what you mean. I thought you meant that the tiny. This is a different island. Not, not just a... Okay. So not just this tiny hill on the ocean. There's an actual island. Oh, well, a proper island, I guess you could say. Yeah. Though it's probably going to be small. Okay, the wind turned a bit downwards. However, so just that way is where we'll go. Here is good. Let's see. There's a tower there. Okay. Yeah, there probably won't be much of value around here, but at least it'll be good to have explored it. Yeah. It can turn faster. Sense, okay. yeah, just, just having it mapped out is a good thing. And yeah, the most, the more dangerous biomes are typically further away from the spawn area. Yep. And let's be honest, you will always want to be sure you know where you have land to, well, land on. In case you need to do repairs and such. Yeah. Okay. There's a rock there. Small, even smaller than I actually here. expected this to be, but oh well. Uh, yeah, it's bigger than expected, I say. Hmm. Okay. At least this isn't a full on storm. Because then it would be. Yeah, there'd be lightning as well. Yeah, we should probably mm. keep an eye out on the damn thing. And have yeah, all things ready. At least when they spawn, they roar. So it is very I, obvious. Uh, no, no. They will spawn without roaring. They roar when they notice you and about to attack you. Okay. Wind turned again. But actually in our favor for once. Mostly. Okay, we'll have to go against the wind for this bit, but we can catch it once we head upwards again. 
Those are quite some waves. <laughs> yeah, and the waves can sometimes damage the ship. This kind of makes sense. Okay, catch the wind. Like, longboats can handle some real rough uh, waves. Impressively a lot, but yeah, even they have limits. Yeah, <laughs> just imagine being out on these waters on a freaking raft. Oh god, I've seen people say the, on those damn first level rafts, like... Most small people don't bother making them. I thought I Poor. heard something just now. Oh? Could have been just the, the waves. Is the music? Uh, yeah, the, it and was the waves that I heard. Okay. Yeah, it, it's just the waves crashing over each other that I heard. If All it right. was a serpent roar, it probably would have been a lot more obvious. That then we will see the royal blinds in the water. <laughs> and that's a circle of oh, this place. Turn, 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 turn! This is one of the likeliest things you may end up uh, calming your boat on while you want to have several repair stations ready. Landmass is hidden by water and other stone things. Yeah, sandbanks and such. Okay, I would suggest going north, but... It, we had a buff. Mm -hmm. We can Wind finally put to... the... This is the situation we want to use it on. Yeah, okay. And it does last for quite a... Oh yeah. Uh, how long does it last again? Uh, let's see, five minutes. That's actually more than enough. Or, it might seem mm. little, but it's surprisingly... Those five minutes can be a game changer. Yeah. And watch out for the stone? Why is there one single stone out here? <laughs> yeah, because it's a tiny island that was <laughs> washed over. Okay, if it wasn't for the buff, I would not be moving in these waves at all. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably have done that, but only this version of trying to get to some safe land. Okay. Let's go this way since we have well, less explored on this side. Some draugers over there. And that's ha I think that might be one of those grave house. Okay. We we do still need more chains for shields. Yeah, oh yeah, we, the one thing we needed to do was to Um Captain What? You killed a Two stone leech by sailing it over. <laughs> okay, hit and run. <laughs> or hit and sail. Uh, oh, what was I was about to say. <laughs> oh, right. If one of our missions were to do more exploring into crypts and uh, this swamp, just to find reeds and find more chests that have chains. Yeah. But we can do that off screen what? after this stream. Since, well, we are actually back, you know, we actually got back to the base and we've got support materials for easy returns. Okay. Tailwind is halfway through. Okay, Black Forest, that's good. Not the safe to face the air to land on, but it's better than the plains or the swamp. Yeah. Okay. It's riding this big ass wave. Mm. 
Steer clear of the rocks. We need to stick somewhat close to the coast, but not too close that we might run aground when the water gets pulled away by a wave. Yeah, that's probably wise. Hmm. I'm pretty sure people have probably already in mod uh, have probably already modded in complete uh, shipping galleons and such. Hey, things are. Planes ahoy! We have found more planes! Okay, but how much is it actually? Well, we have a plane island here, and uh, such, and a tree. What? Swamp trees? Uh, yeah, for him. No, swamp trees are actually over there, yeah. The heck? Okay, let's keep going along the outskirts. Yeah, I think it looks like it's a bit of a plain beach going on there. Hmm. There's a little house. I don't know what you mean by that. There's lots to see on the beach. But what? Yeah, it's very little plains. And more swamp there. Rather deep waters between. Oh, oh yeah, there's more trees over there. Either meadows or more plains. Uh, I think there's more plains. Okay, tailwind and is about to run out. I see a certainly thingy. Okay. We could see if we can put the land here and explore for one of the things we want to find is this the thing that shows where the, the next boss is and it's True. rarely on the beach but well, that's a good reason to land as well yeah uh, oh meadows here as well and of course we park on the plane part <laughs> yep and the welcoming committee immediately There, repair the boat, even if it was only at a third. Like immediately grabbing all of those. Might as well. Let's see, some boars. Yeah, I think this is going to be only a tiny strip of planes. I yeah, might as well take a I, look. I, yeah, it, it, at least it means it will be quick to explore. I can hear more circlings. There Give me that. What the? We sent post a camp? There's hmm. it a camp tower on a tiny island we sent post somehow. <laughs> okay. More Luxus. Now, now to find Helion. Okay, I'm dodging a Sirtling and a Skeeto. And there's a Lux that's interested. It's not aggressive yet. At least not to me. And yeah, I think I already see the end of the planes bit, unless it continues on past there. Okay, okay the locks is still just set as curious for me. <laughs> it's just a big fucking puppy just... Trying to follow after me. 
There you go. Okay. Back to the boats. Yeah, I'd probably need to go back to the boat. Uh, should we put down the portal to head back, sleep, then return to the sailing? Okay. And the Lux Puppy has given up. It is easier to sail when you can see, after all. Mm. Yeah. Get some... Yeah, I'll grab some more fine wood, all the same. Actually, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's dock up. There. Be careful not to land it on the boat. Lost you. Ooh, that one's going towards the boat. <laughs> you tell me to be careful. And you're the one that ended up uh, <laughs> doing it. There and there. Cleaning up the stumps. Mm. <laughs> one of the logs is blocking the portal. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And they in to unload. Okay, we can just dump it out and we'll sort it another time. For some reason, I need to stretch a lot, it seems, today. Yeah, sometimes there are those days where you're always tired, you need to stretch a lot and all that. It happens. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it looks like the island we are on if we count the upper and lower part connected, since there isn't too much I see between them. That might be the biggest one we found yet. If we're not counting our uh, starting continent here. Yeah, our starting one is massive. There you go. Hopefully we can find some clues where the next boss is, for once we know, we can then go full out on raiding crypts to get the chains and all we need. Yeah. Hmm. We probably should move this side of the portal a bit closer, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gleshbo is still here? I uh, did it say something about their, the dogs? You know, they need to feed oh, them. But that'll give me a bit of time to set up a harbor. At least the basis of one. Yep. I put away all of the wood, so... <laughs> Bit of a dumb. I would probably say it's probably better to us to have the harbor on a safer spot.
like the meadows look like a better spot to, to have it on. True. Mm. Let's see. Okay, now it's starting to storm. Go. By the way, do you see the structure over there? Uh, I see a broken tower. That might, if you're lucky enough, tell us where the boss is. Yeah, you mean north or south? Where I'm looking at. Okay, that, that only looks like just a big rock to me. Though I can see... Yeah, it, it's partially walls. Yeah. Like, we luck, it's have the stone or at least some totems. Both that are needed. Uh, yeah, I'm sure if we, we can swim this distance. Row, we can, for sure. I'd rather wait before we investigated the uh, sensor. Yeah, I'd rather we have a glacier boy with us. Let's see, where is that chest? I'm pretty sure I stuffed one of these full. Full of what? No, it was over there. You'll see in a sec, we won't need to use the big boats. Oh, you mean the... Use me, make a... Sh okay, this case, I guess you could just use a simple crude raft. Okay. I can offer one better because, well, the smaller boat was destroyed earlier. So I put all of this stuff in the bigger boat. All right, let's sail over there carefully. What oh, is a big fish? You getting sunk in three, two, You may expect a sea sumper to just bullshittedly come spawn here. <laughs> Burling just jumping out the window to get at us. Yeah, I saw that. What the heck? Another one jumping out. Totem! Two totems we got from that. Okay. Mm. No rune. No vague visor. At least we could do more totems. Yeah. So it was not wasteful of us. Come on down, you. Yeah, we can spare him. Unless, actually, I got an idea. Okay, now that was just bullying, but oh well. These things deserve to be bullied. There's another There's one somewhere. Died.
Yeah, they're on very top. Yeah, let's let's uh, ignore them. There's a chest here. Oh. Okay, some needles and a, a bit of barley. Um, barley will always be useful. Sounds well. Free food. Um. Yeah. There we go. Go and we can just take off. As soon as okay, we need to push it a bit. Okay, I don't think it can be pushed when there's someone actively using one of the seats. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, it would have been a bit of a waste to get the big boat moved all for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, since we're waiting on Glacier Boy, we may as well explore a little bit using this thing. So that's probably just going to be a decent idea in general to just have the materials for the smaller boats on board of the bigger one in case you need to pass through shallows. Yeah, the lower can handle shallows quite well, but our limits. Okay, there's two point, and there's two circling spawners here. I'm back. Oh, yeah, welcome, welcome back. back. Now we say back. We just took the smaller boat. Oh, sail! Sail! Sail faster! Sail faster! Behind you! <laughs> we just took the, sm uh, the smaller boat out to take a bit of a look around, and <laughs> now yeah. there's an abomination on our tail. Yeah, now you see why I even now... E yeah, that thing is even more reason why I don't like docking me a swamp. I think it's about as fast as us. Maybe a little bit slower due to the wind here. Uh, okay, uh, sail towards uh, a bit more north, Captain. If I do that, we're losing. Yeah, <laughs> we're losing the wind, and it lost interest. Hmm? Oh dear. Okay, now we row back to where we're supposed to be. Pick up Glacier Boy. Pick up the portal and all that. And continue sailing. Of course, that's the moment that this, the wind turns. Optic volume on Glacier Boy a bit. Actually, good you said that. I should probably do that as well. But I have been troubling. Look, I always have trouble hearing them uh, over some sounds. Oh! Never mind. I already have the own max. Oh boy. Here we go. All the stuff for the smaller boat. Just make sure. Yep, Carve can build it. Yeah, are we, are we going through the portal and leave the totems in the base? Since, well, might as well not lose that treasure. Let's see. There. Let's leave that in. Take that out. Hey. Hey. There we go. Just gotta dump that in a box. Uh, I mean, I always stand here and just resource my resting buff, since might as well get as much resting buff as possible. Uh, 
And yes, people, in this game, being rested is rewarding. And not being rested is rather punishing. Yeah, since it lowers... <laughs> since it lowers uh, stamina use and such. Oh, it lowers stamina regen, it lowers health regen, it lowers XP gaining. Like, this is one of the games that encourage you to just sit down for a short moment before you rush out for an adventure. Yeah, basically encouraging you to come back to your base every so often. Yeah, or at least make campfires here and there, and uh, like a small cabin and such. Oh. What are you doing in the bed? Sitting for comfort. This you, pillar is... You, you, you can do that by the hearth. It's right here, yeah. this pillar. Yeah, by this pillar is apparently the point where we have the most uh, comfort uh, downstairs. Yeah, on the bed it also hits 17. Oh yeah. Luckily enough. Okay, let's continue on. We still have about half an hour. <clears throat> Maybe we can uh, find... Uh... Yeah, maybe at least miss lands, if not uh, what we're looking for. Uh, we rather not land it too close to the miss lands. Uh, um, there we go. Okay, now you get to carry that. Okay, all aboard. All on board. Okay. Uh, wind isn't in the best position for us here. Never mind. All right, we had enough time for that to recharge. I think I think the general recharge time is half an hour. It's around twenty minutes. Okay. Okay, we'll probably have to make a yeah, an earlier pit stop. For repair somewhere, but oh well. Oh, that's a tiny meadow, then black forest. And what have we here? It looks like a mountain in the distance. Far yeah. distance. Hmm. Yeah, we should be keeping an eye out on the sides as well for possible island sightings. No, yeah, we're not I interested in... And I see more their... planes. Yeah, because of all, <laughs> all the birds. There's a, oh, there's a little temple there. That could have... That could have it. So we... Okay. Are we on board and check? But there's more planes over there, so all right. It, we might have skito. a... A bit too close. Star. Okay. What is that? Investigate around. Let's see. Okay, Black no metal. babies. Are... But the planes here looks a bit bigger, so we can explore this one. Okay, I think a deer here just got an annihilated by that ski, though. The Let's moment I mentioned them. Here. Holy. Uh, wire mark here is... Now that we've looted this thing, it's not really of interest. Well, that's if we just want to go exploring the planes. Yeah, this planes looks like it could have a... It actually looks rather sizable. So, yeah, let's make a portal uh, here. Up on this thing. Okay. At least for an emergency return point for the moment. Yeah, it, it is the explore point for now.
there. Explore. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see another big pillar. So we can head on that way. I'm going to put down a mark for the portal and the boat. Definitely good idea. Okay, just in case we forget where we leave the dumb thing again. Okay. Need to keep an eye on my food. I'm gonna scout ahead a little bit. Carefully. I, I watch a um, ski to butcher a deer. They seem very good at that. Certlings or fruitlings. Yeah. Yep, two star. Moves! Right. Let's pick up the smaller one so he's not a distraction. Ow! Yep. Well, good thing we put up the portal, it seems. Yeah. He hits hard. We need to take... The... Just don't spam your attacks on him. Get okay, him. I... Hit. Move away. Okay, so his club do... just phased through me there for a second. I tried to yeah. parry. Uh, yeah, I was going to say is... It might be hard to block him. Okay. We can block... Uh, we can parry... But it will basically stun us as well. So one of us parries, the other one it attacks. We may actually need to uh, have a better food to be able to even block those damn things. And I well, think we both just parried him. <laughs> yeah, we did. We yeah, did at one the point there both parry him at the same time, or block at least. One of us parried, the other one got their guard broken all the same. <laughs> okay. Toast is clear for you. Wonderful. I grabbed some, uh, just ate something there at home. And now we're running back. I just realized it's getting dark. <laughs> and that's bad for exploration yeah. in the plains for... Yeah, the patrols. Yeah, okay. uh, they're more likely to get to find the star ones. Uh, okay, just come grab your stuff, then we return for another rest. Someone else using it? What? I'm guessing well, Glacier Boy was stuff. taking a peek. <laughs> no, they were putting things I, into I, it, I this said, looks like. Said, yeah, I said it's another level of me putting stuff in his inventory. <laughs> oh, love of. Oh, yeah. Let's head back. Rest, then explore again in the morning. Yeah. This place, I hope, have something that tells us where the next boss is. Or we outright find his place right away? Yeah, if we did, I wouldn't recognize it, probably, other than the fact that it stands out. Or is likely uh, to stand out. Like fingers grasping in the air. Made of stone. There. Okay, so basically a collection of the... of the pillars, but smaller. Uh, more of... crooked. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Something we will have to take in a bit of account, since it seems that uh, <laughs> on Wednesdays we do eat a lot more often before we go, or before my mother head off, heads off to uh, the swimming, so we might need to cut it a little bit early. Alright then. This is my bed. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, and uh, least you, you have your own bed, you know. <laughs> Surfs sleeps on sides. 
<laughs> Come on. Hmm. Okay, Yggdrasil on fire. Uh, or half on fire. Concerning. I'm sure it's fine. Actually. Just means more kindling for us. Swap those out. Actually, probably better if I swap these out. Bread, onion soup, and the wolf skewer. I do have to say that I am a bit curious how how the meat of some predators would taste. Like Not wolf good. or crocodile. Uh, crocodile is a delicacy that you need a pair of but a lot of predator people have eaten don't taste great. Because it tends to be mostly muscle and such. More of... It's just not to taste good. And they have a high chance of uh, giving you an illness. Yeah. Well, crocodile burgers are a thing. I, I've heard that reptilian meat is supposed to be bitter. I think it depends. And yeah, we've, I think we've talked a few times already before about why it's a bad idea to eat great whites uh, or most uh, shark meats. Because they're high in mercury and such. Yeah. Like the smallest ones maybe is fine, but the bigger they are, the worse it gets. And there's a village here. And the tar pit right next to it. This can be of use. Almost two mosquitoes with one swipe. All right. Hmm. Actually, could we get the tar things to fight this, the foolings Ooh. for us? That usually happens. There's some coming out already. Let's see, I can't really see any big foolings. There's a big number of them. Up there is one of yes. the big boys. There he is. Okay, let's let's drag them towards the tar pits and just watch. The and there's at least yeah, two shamans at least. Should we assassinate the shamans? Yeah. Those are typically the single most dangerous things. There's two there's two berserkers. They're not they're not taking the bait. Well one is behind you, Glacier Boy. That's what I mean. Uh, okay, I see the I see the oh. shamans. There's three uh, of them. Kill it. That was not meant to happen. Yeah, do it. It attacked it after it fired against someone else, so. Okay, maybe oh, this wasn't that good of an distance. idea. <laughs> okay, let's run away, and I see something over here that looks promising. Okay, okay run, run away in which direction? Uh, west. What if we lead them to the swamp? Just let the swamp monsters keep it busy. Yeah, they'd likely all go after us. Oop, out of stamina. Not anymore. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> this is why it's a good idea to keep some of those meads on at all times. And nothing here, damn it. I'm going to bully these foolings. Okay, at least we can pick off some of the village. Ow, ow. There. Okay, that's at least thin the herd somewhat. Uh, the berserkers might be still nearby. I'm not hearing them or seeing them, so they've probably given up. I think they yeah. hopefully just ran back. 
Okay. Ooh, there's one of them. No, two of them. them. And one of the shamans, I think. And there's just the locks. Can I just nail one of them? I just hit one on my first <laughs> try. Uh, oh, it's, it's coming. Oh, shaman to the left. Oh, there. <laughs> now he spawned in. <laughs> Did we hit him at the same time there? Oh, he died from the poison. Okay, that should leave only two more. Sneaky, sneaky, and because the of the locks. And went to the stones I was at. Okay. <laughs> They get a bit weird at times. You know, they're berserkers, so they're not the, they're, and, they're not the brightest. <laughs> it's just standing there menacingly. Not even menacingly. I think it looks a bit lost. Uh, it didn't react at bad. all to that. <laughs> I feel bad for doing this. Oh, no, no, not anymore. Let me see if I well, can parry this thing. This hood is covering oh, his cool. eyes. Yeah, you okay. can block the side sweep, but not the ground bash. Yeah. With only five coins? No, a bit more than that. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can clear out some more of them, because, well, we need to get past the village anyways to get back to the boat. Yeah, and there's a stone structure there. I don't see a stone structure in the middle of the village like that before. Hmm. And, uh, Shaman to boy. the left. Hmm? Shaman on the left, I can see the stick. On the hill, coming down. And of course, I hit a stone. Oh, right, now he's spawning for me. I have made an error. What did you you did you? Okay, you didn't take off the locks, at least. No, no, I just forgot to bring some. Money. Okay, most of the shamans are gone, so we should be. Oops. One star. Uh, <laughs> and now I'm seeing stars. <laughs> uh, always the moment we get overconfident, huh? Yeah. Mm. Okay, at least I have my, my weapons. So I can just grab some food. Don't run down. Um, there, there, There's another shot, man. there, yeah, there were three. Ow. <laughs> okay, just had a bit Jeez. of a weird thought. If wind Don't direction might affect door. arrows or something, probably not. But in real life, they probably do. I just thought Drakir hit him out of this plane of existence. Oh, dear gods. Okay, on my way back. Not the berserker. Run, run. Okay, I see the Berserker. And apparently not all of them got it <laughs> pulled out from this. Okay, let me grab my gear. Okay, there's at least two more in the village. Okay, do care? Pull back. Mm. 
the <laughs> just before it was going to hit the both of us. <laughs> that was too close. Let's see. Bloody heck, Wait, it's gonna hit us. There's so much black metal. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're not going to be short on that. Uh, carrying... Oh, right. <laughs> Corpse run buff. There. Oh, more flex! Might as well get her some of this up and just put it together in a box somewhere, because I think the Surlings tend to have a box. Shaman spotted. Yeah, but I used to see there's a Shaman here. And totems, and it just fireballed its own hot. Yeah, what's this to say? <laughs> and I burned. <laughs> you burned. Okay, yeah, those fireballs still hurt a freaking ton. I got the totems. We've we got you, you in from there over here. There's some in the tower there, uh, Glitchy Boy! Oscar is just headbutting his way out of the door. There we go. We grab the flax. Hmm. Now that I think about it, one way to ensure that you would be going back to your base a lot would be to just leave most of your food in the base. So whenever you it starts to run out, you'll have to go back through a portal for it. Probably best yeah. to just <laughs> put down a portal where you are and just go through and back again. Food portal? Hmm. Uh, I usually keep leave this enough food at home as well. If I die, I can eat, then run now, uh, back out to recover my body. Okay, yeah, okay. it's also good for that, yeah. Yeah, I've got more. Uh, I, I might try that with a new character, perhaps. Hmm? I have flex. I cannot carry any more. Okay. Yeah, dead but... Skeeto near the pillar. And it, it seems like pitching two of our <laughs> problems against each other did solve one of them, at um, least. Guys? What? Yeah. I think I found the boss area. Where? <laughs> North. North. Oh, two spear yeah, throwers here. They're, they're stuck. Looks like there's a finger over here. Yep. Yeah, there's another one that's stuck in there. Uh, let's see. Where, where are they? Is this it? Do... No, I only I see just... one at the moment. That's kind of what was confusing me. No, it's just a pillar. It's uh, yes has to be as a regular pillar, right? Yeah, it's a regular pillar. It's just it... tilted. Damn it! It would be nice up. if it was uh, the boss thing. Okay, and I think that covers most of this place. Actually, there's way more planes over there. There's more planes up north. And not too much, I think, because I can see the ocean. I see more. I see a beach full of a uh, plane. There's even more. Yeah, there's more landmass up north. Okay. It keeps on going. I'll go clear out the last of the foolings then. Though I think there's a one or two star stuck in a hut here. Am I hitting the oh, right yeah, it's way? a two star. It's a two star. I see the two star. Eat okay, food. I'll block it. You beat it. You... Okay, it almost breaks my guards. And it broke yeah, a bit more there. He, he too shot me. <laughs> oh, the arrows barely do damage. Oh, oh, it, oh it does do decent damage. It's like the third time in a row that I've died now. 
He was an idiot that went into the tower, so he's very slow. Uh, uh, I'm I'm swimming. I am swimming. I cannot touch the sides. Um, okay. So you dug too greedily, too deep. Now he's swimming away from me in the damn tar pit. Yeah, we've never accused the foolings of being smart. He's dead. Okay, let's get let's go dig Glacier Bar out of the pit he dug himself. Oh, that's a pile of gold and black metal. Okay, there is, there is a patrol between the portal and the village. I may I may be out of my depth here. <laughs> or rather in your depths. Oh gods. Uh, do you see the pile they heal? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to try to keep them fight them around the tower, especially if we can trick them to swim into the tower, since, yeah, it will slow them down so much. And that's dinner call. So, yeah, I'll okay, dump yeah. out. Actually, there's no need to dump this since I'm not over, uh, beyond carrying weight. Okay, let's so rush let's back quickly. Yeah, okay. Uh, can you get out <laughs> of the hole? Yes, you I'm can. Thinking. I'm just digging myself out. Okay, uh, <laughs> otherwise it would have been pretty hilarious if we had to abandon you in there. Oh, God. All right. Let's run back to the portal. Okay. Yeah, we, sh we should probably try to keep this in mind more for, more the, for the future. Okay, now I am carrying too much due to the death penalty run, uh, death buff running off but uh, yeah on Wednesdays we should probably start earlier so that we can also stop earlier how about for that okay like half an hour earlier and half yeah, yeah that could mm. work probably Yep. And yeah, there's more planes uh, you can see from here, even. Mm. Uh, yeah, let's just log off then the moment that we are through the... Uh, everyone's through the portal. And yeah, no real time for a raid. So <laughs> sorry on that. Okay, just log off. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Okay. There we go then, and yeah, let me, let's see, did we have any lurkers today? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Oh, <laughs> hello there, <laughs> lurking Rio Jack, okay, <laughs> thank you for being here, and yeah, since I have to rush, no real time for a raid, so thank you everyone else for watching now or later, thank you Raymond64DS, thank you Trio Jack, and I'm, I'm guessing you got, you came here through pizza. Uh, and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir and Glacier Boy. You're most welcome as always, my friend. <laughs> and yeah. Tomorrow we'll get started with Sonic Heroes. But until then, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and who links who you under keep underestimating. <laughs> uh, do as well. <laughs>